Swalem Mbaruku Amani is blind. He sells charcoal for a few shillings a day and for a meal on the roof over his head. Like many people in Majengo, an informal settlement on the Kenyan coast, the 75-year-old struggles for his basic needs, especially during the corona pandemic. Now, in order to prevent the spread of the virus in the community, on behalf of the participatory slum upgrading program, PSUP, he runs a hand-washing station. It provides for clean water for the community and earns an extra income. And occasionally, his brother Omari Mbaruku, who lives next door, lends a hand. <laughs> Like Amani, many residents of the Majengo community have taken initiative in the pandemic and they benefit. On behalf of PSUP and its partners, the county government of Kilifi and the local NGO Shining Hope for Communities, Shofko, the slum dwellers are pitching in to protect themselves from the virus. They maintain hand-washing stations provided by Shofko in the village, make soap, distribute donated sanitizers and participate in PSUP's COVID awareness program. Michirama Mbete has been a health volunteer in Majengo since before the coronavirus. She works with other local women on community health issues. During this crisis, her expertise is invaluable. For weeks, she went from door to door to explain to people how to protect themselves from the virus. She collected data about the health status and distributed sanitary products. No easy task, says Mbete. Neighbors were skeptical at first. Many did not believe in COVID or distrusted the volunteers. Most of them had to get used to wearing masks. Water is needed for hand washing and hygiene. During the pandemic, PCP and Shofko deliver it free of charge to the slums along the coast. Every day, trucks bring fresh well water, 10,000 liters per load. Wipingo community, about 20 kilometers north of Majengo. Approximately 1,500 families live here. For many of them, the only source of water, a nearby well, is salty and brackish. They are currently dependent on fresh water supply. When the water truck reaches the village square, the local women get into position with their jerry canes. Fetching water is a woman's business in Kenya. Each gets as much fresh water as she can carry home in her cans. PCP and Shofko also deliver fresh water to Mzambarauni, one of UN Habitat's project regions. Oinis Kazungu is a village elder of Bicha Roya, a community of Mzambarauni. She says the fresh water supplies are a blessing for the people now that the coronavirus outbreak has taken away many people's jobs. <laughs> Hapa ni nyumbani. Shughuli zangu nafanya hapa. Lakini corona ilipoingia ilikuathiri sana. Na kwanza kuanzia hiyo corona ilipoanza ilikuwa shida chakula, shida ya maji, shida ya kila kitu. Hata pesa tulikuwa hatuna. Lakini kuanzia huu msaada wa maji ulipoingia pia tulikuwa tunapata msaada kutokea hayo maji. Mana hayo maji pia alikuwa ni matatizo lakini kuanzia hao maji kuingia tukawa tunapata msaada kupitia hao maji zaidi ya hayo yote tunawaomba 
hata kama kuna msaada mwingine pia mzidi kutuletea ili tukaweze kujikimu kimaisha The heart of the PSUP project is the community center in Majengo, directed by Albert Njama. As PSUP project coordinator, he organizes training sessions for people from the surrounding communities. The focus is on participation, capacity building and empowerment, especially for young people and women, some of PSUP's priorities. For the trainings, Njama gets external support from community-based organizations such as Kesho Kenya or Dawn, which addresses young single mothers. The aim is to show them in a practical way that being a woman or a mother is not a reason to drop out of school. In times of Corona, the community center has proven its worth. It is now almost bursting at the seams. And it shows how important the sense of community and collective action has become to the people of Majengo. It is not only a better way to cope with the pandemic, but also to overcome many future challenges in the settlement.